Hi, I'm Jason A. Thomas. I'm a tax partner with Farron Schlangerman, and today we are going to discuss aspects associated with how to successfully transition your business to a successive generation or management, uh, basically in order to keep the business going. Um, I like to start out by at least diagramming what typically is the case for a uh, small business, family owned business, uh, privately owned business and how it typically um, happens over the years. So let me start out by um, first saying this is the first generation typically started by uh, a patriarch and that business it becomes very successful, entrepreneurial driven and succeeds to the second generation and not always successfully. Um, statistics have basically stated maybe 50, 60 percent of businesses actually succeed to the second generation. So if it's 50, maybe 60 percent, um, 40% of the time, possibly, that business won't survive after the, the person that started it uh, began the business. After the first generation, it even gets worse. Statistically, when you go to the second generation, is it could be maybe 5 to 20%, just depending on the situation. But the third or the second generation, not very successful, and third generations after that very very low almost uh, minuscule and you say why is that you know why is that well there's a lot of different reasons but a lot of times what we've seen in our practice the reason is is these this second and first generations they spend more resources of the business than typically the first generation will and a lot of times that's on excess consumption uh, to give you a story, uh, we had a client that had a business meeting and they, the family had to fly off to a location. That's not uncommon that you know you have a business meeting out of town and the parents were in uh, uh, the plane, they went on a commercial uh, aircraft like Delta or United and they were sitting on the tarmac and they looked across uh, the way and they saw their kids in a private jet going to that same location. So that's, an, that's, that's kind of an example of conspicuous consumption. More money is being spent than uh, what typically is spent at the first generation level. Uh, so how is it possible maybe to uh, generate more success in having the business succeed to successive generations? Uh, well, there's one thought. I think uh, there's an abundance in one thought. Uh, this is one idea. Um, typically, a first generation will govern or accommodate the, the second generation or the younger management, it, meaning that they'll kind of say, hey, you've got to get in there, you've got to pay your dues, and they accommodate them. They, they give them kind of uh, what they want, but at the same time, uh, they don't let them be in control very much. And sometimes that kind of backfires. And what um, may be a better idea, instead of accommodating them, uh, accentuate the talents of the younger, younger generations and younger management. Do design the structure in order for them to actually thrive and, and, and be at their best. And even possibly, and this is where the idea comes in, create a like a mini organization to uh, help train them in being part of governance and that's one of the talents that, that younger people have have um, uh, trouble learning is how to govern and so this is for example let's look at this is the this is the organization uh, maybe set up just a mini little organization uh, as a sideline venture, it doesn't have to, have to take a lot of time, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money or be burdensome uh, from a regulatory perspective. Uh, I like nonprofits 
I really like nonprofits because you could uh, have the younger generations be uh, actually officers of this and give them the uh, authority to be the first among equals, have equal voice. So they're actually, it's kind of like a small little organization with training wheels to teach them how to govern, uh, design it around, accentuating the talents of them. So when they can create um, new purposes and products and services in this, they can use those complex thought processes that they developed and then that, that can in turn infuse back into this uh, mainstay or organization and then hopefully this number will have a much higher success of being higher and everybody is more in tune and aligned with each other and it's a very um, powerful idea. Uh, I'm actually uh, utilizing it myself and I found it to be very, very beneficial and having very positive uh, results. Uh, please let us know if you're interested. Call us. We'll tell you how. Thank you.